Between this moment, Diego Georgios Marius Cardinalis Bergoglio, and then this one, Abemus Papa. In little over than 24 hours, already so much had happened. Even though the election was conducted behind closed doors, Vatican journalist from America magazine knows many of the events that occurred during this time. This is what he explores in his new book, The Election of Pope Francis. I've written it as a diary, starting on the day that uh, Benedict XVI announced his resignation, February the 11th, 2013, and ending on the day that Francis, up here in St. Peter's Square, began his, the inaugurated his ministry. The book examines how the election of the first Latin American Pope happened. Jared O'Connell is sure Connell Jorge Mario Bergoglio entered the conclave unaware he would leave the Sistine Chapel dressed as Pope. He understood it at the lunch time on March the 13th before they went into the fourth ballot. It was clear after the third ballot that barring some extraordinary event, he was going to be Pope. During the voting, the other most voted candidates were the Archbishop of Milan, Angelo Scala, and Canadian Mark Wellett, Prefect of the Congregation of Bishops. However, after the second vote, most of the new supporters were for the Colonel of Buenos Aires, Jorge Mario Bergoglio. On March the 13th, during the fifth ballot, he gained more than two-thirds of the votes and became Pope Francis. Jared O'Connell says those who voted for him saw in this now Pope three decisive elements. They knew that he was a holy man, they knew that he was a man very close to the poor, they knew that he was a man who was kind of a missionary Pope. At 7.06 in the evening on March the 13th, the white smoke appeared announcing O'Connell had been elected Pope. An hour later, the world met Pope Francis. The keys to knowing how his story began are in the pages of this book.